Hello class! Good morning! Welcome to our online class. It's me, Teacher Edson, your teacher in this session. Before we start, I'd like to assure that you're already in your comfortable place so that you can focus in our lesson that we are going to discuss this day. In checking our attendance, you just need to like this video so I can know that you already watch our lesson this day. For today's lesson, I will discuss distribution of volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and mountain ranges. In this lesson, we need to have our objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to number one, locate the volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and mountain ranges on the different parts of the earth. And number two, infer that these geographic features are distributed on a specific place on earth. There are three major belts in the world which are frequented by volcanic activities and earthquakes of varying intensity are the Circum-Pacific Belt, the Mid-Atlantic Belt, and Mid-Continental Belt. If you say volcanic belt, most volcanoes in the world are located along divergent plate boundaries. One of these boundaries in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge a part of a mid-Atlantic belt located on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean from Iceland to Antarctica, a large number of volcanoes are found in the region of Pacific Ocean in a belt called Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a part of Circum-Pacific Belt. This ring extends to Andes of South America, Central America, Mexico, the Cascade Mountains of Western United States, the Aletian Islands, Kamchatka, the Kuril Islet, Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia, Celebes, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Island, New Caledonia, and New Zealand. Volcanoes are found in convergent plate boundaries such as mid-continental belt. This belt includes the volcanoes of the Alps, the Mediterranean Sea like Stromboli, Vesuvius, and Etna, volcanoes of Aegean Sea, Mount Ararat in Turkey, Elburz, Hindukus, and the Himalayas. Famous volcano in the world, we have the Kaliu in Hawaii, USA, St. Helens in Washington, USA, Fuji in Tokyo, Japan, we have in Iceland, Pinatubo in Philippines, Mayon in Philippines, Krakatoa in Indonesia, and so on and so forth. Now let's proceed to earthquake belt. It is a narrow zone on Earth's surface around which majority of the earthquakes are take place. The global distribution of earthquakes is similar to the volcanoes. Earthquakes commonly occur along plate boundaries. The Circum-Pacific Belt stretches from Alaska to Kuril, Japan, Mariana, and the Philippines trenches. Beyond this, it branches toward the Indonesia Trench and toward the Kemak Tonga Trench to the northwest of New Zealand. This is the area where the Pacific Ring of Fire is found, which has the highest incident of earthquakes. About 70% of the world's earthquakes occurs in this region. The belt stretching from the mid-continental belt in where about 20% of the Earth's earthquakes have occurred. The rest of the earthquakes occurs in diverging plate boundaries such as mid-Atlantic Ridge as well as transform plate boundaries. So the Philippines is under the Pacific Ring of Fire or the region of Pacific Ring of Fire. That's why every day we experience earthquake some of the earthquakes cannot be felt because they are having a low magnitude or intensity let's proceed to mountain belt a mountain belt is where the great mountain ranges are located and if you say mountain ranges it's made of series of mountains that are close together and extend for hundreds or thousands of kilometers most common ranges are located along the boundaries where collision of plates occurs. Like volcanoes and earthquakes, they are also concentrated in circum-Pacific belt. Mountain ranges surrounds most of the Pacific basin. 
a nearly continuous chain of mountains can also be traced from Morocco in North Africa through Europe, across Turkey and Iran, through Himalayas to Southeast Asia. This is the mid-continental belt. This belt extends further to include Tibet, the Pamirs, and the mountain of Tian Shan. The young folded mountain system of Myanmar, China, and eastern Siberia also fall in this belt. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a vast chain of underwater mountains on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. It is an underwater chain of mountains about 75,639 km long. The chain runs down the middle of Atlantic Ocean or the surfing at Iceland around Africa through the Indian Ocean between Australia and Antarctica. The north through the Pacific Ocean, making the longest mountain range in the whole world. Most of the highest mountain ranges in the world are found in Asia. They form the boundary between the Indian subcontinent and the rest of Asia. The highest mountain peaks are in the Himalayas. These mountain ranges makes range makes up the large a fleeted area that extends from about 2,400 kilometers through Tibet and as much of Central Asia. There are was pushed up 55 million years ago by northward collision of India and Eurasia. So that's all for today. Hope you have learned something from our lesson. Thank you. See you in our next lesson.